Welcome back to another Steam Deck video, guys. I'm Lee Stu K, and today we've got a little bit of news, thanks to Reddit, about VRR, variable refresh rate, and anti-screen tearing options coming to the Steam Deck very soon. And I can't wait to tell you about it, but first, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content, because we post Steam Deck content every single day on this YouTube channel, multiple times a day in most cases. So let's get into this. Let's learn about VRR coming to Steam Deck. Let's go. Hey guys, before we get into this video, we're giving away one of these amazing folding keyboard and track pads for the Steam Deck. It's my favorite Steam Deck accessory and we're giving it away in a couple of weeks. All you have to do for a chance of winning is clicking the like button, subscribe button and bell icon and commenting down below as to why you would want to win one of these bad boys. Also, if you just want to buy one of these things, um, I'll put a link to where you could buy it in the video description and in the top comment of this video. So guys, BRR external screens only to be clear um, and allow tearing options coming to the steam deck um, it seems that both options for variable refresh rate and allow tearing are coming to the steam deck in a future update thanks reddit here's what that means firstly no the steam deck itself will not have vrr as the screen doesn't support it damn it as confirmed by valve developer pierre lupe griffes on twitter this will be for external screens when docking the point of vrr is to have your screen continue to dynamically change the refresh rate to match the game, enabling it to remain remain smooth and tear free. Now, if you don't know what screen tearing is, let me show you. So this is, let's see, here we've got a video of some black lines going back and forth this, on the screen. And as the frame rate's changing, occasionally you can get tearing artifacts, which you'll see. See, see that? See that little tearing there where the lines get a little bit out of line? <laughs> out of alignment, see? Basically, as the, as the game refresh rate's changing a little bit, the monitor can't keep up. And it's giving you artifacting like that. Now this is really common. You've probably had this on your PS5 at times. You probably have this on your gaming PC and you really probably don't notice it. But if you're a stickler for details like I am, this can drive you crazy. Um, and a lot of new displays and new TVs coming out support VRR, which means vari variable refresh rate. So basically the TV and the monitor you're, you're using changes the refresh rate to match the game, to match the gameplay. That way you're not getting that artifact and then that tear in there. Um, and if you have a PC that maybe can't keep up with like a full 60 FPS and it maybe dips below or goes higher, whatever, um, you can get that screen tearing effect. Um, so yeah, that is great news. So support for external displays is coming because obviously, as Pierre Lupe said, this the Steam Deck screen doesn't quite support VRR right now, which kind of sucks. Um, as for the allow tearing option, this is due to the current way that the Steam Deck gaming mode works with the Wayland display server with it always forcing VSync. Once ready, this will allow you to properly have it off and therefore reduce any extra latency it introduces and get some tearing. Um, so there we go, we can disable tearing and allow tearing. It should be in the performance tab um, and the performance pop up, which is pretty cool. Um, both of these are going to be pretty big and exciting additions, especially for those with VRR capable screens and for times where you really need that little, little bit of extra input performance. The option turned up in the Steam Deck main menu and the main updates channel, which is some of the extra updates channels you can turn on in the developer menu, not actually meant for users. Um, so, oh, sorry, hold on. This is the options turned up. The options turned up in the Steam Deck main updates channel, which is one of the extra update channels you can turn on via developer mode, not actually meant for users. As with any in progress developments, it can change at any point. So I wouldn't recommend enabling this right now Honestly, um, I would stick to the default user update channels like your beta and your preview if you want the bleeding edge. Um, but if you're, if you really, if this is really bugging you, if you really want to eliminate or allow screen tearing, um, then you can obviously go into the Steam Deck developer mode and turn on the the main updates channel um, to get this get this feature. So let me know in the comments down below: Has VRR been an issue for you on external screens when playing with the Steam, the Steam Deck docked? Let me know down below in the comments and enjoy your Halloween, guys. That's just a little news update for me about the Steam Deck. And like I said, I cover Steam Deck every single day. New news, updates, what's going on in the Steam Deck community. We cover it every day here in the channel. So anyways, guys, I'm Lee Stakey. I love you. I appreciate you. Happy Halloween. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next Steam Deck video. Happy Halloween. Bye, guys.